Hello, and welcome to Tortoise Game. We are back in uh, Dragon Age Origins for our 12th episode. We're fin finishing up Lothering here today, and then I think we're going to be heading off. Oh, what's that? Oh, the mother. That's what that is. But that's not what I was looking at. And think we're going to be headed off to Redcliffe, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go kill this bear. This is actually going to be a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Oh, fudge. Okay. Okay, well, these guys are... Let me see. I don't have that, but I could do it right there. This is going to probably hurt everyone. Oh, yeah. You're definitely going to heal. Let's put this down here. How many do we got? Two? Ooh. Okay, this is me, and... Oh, fudge! You, kill him! Okay, whew, that wolf is dead. I, th I was thought I was dead. Ah, they kept trying to kill me and not go after anyone else. What I do to them? Nothing. I was just being a good little person standing here. Okay. Anyways. This is where we're headed. Guess she got killed by the wolfies. Found the body of the boy's mother. Okay. What's this? Oh, you can... No. So you can change party at any yes. time. That's not the way it used to be. Interesting. Now we're after a bear. So... He's going to be over here somewhere. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, get that bear. This one's next. Okay, the bears are down. I thought there was only one big bear. It's been a while. But let's go make sure that's all of the bears. And that there's none over here somewhere hiding. I don't think there is. So, yeah. Oh, that's too far. Okay. Let's head back. We have done all of those. I think we're pretty much done with all the missions here. And no, she's not going to level, so we're not going to be able to do that one quest. The trap one. Okay, so we'll... Go get... Talk to... This person. And let him know. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. What do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Dark's farm may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. 
Sorry, I can't help. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Yep. No, uh... We don't have anyone that makes traps, so we can't do that quest. Okay, let's go talk to... Our friend here. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. So my question is... And Andraste came unto them, saying, Though the danger... Okay. The great the mountain high have faith, for the Maker listens and smiles upon us. Let's come in here. Oh, let's not. Let's do this first. Oh, what was that? Oh, F1 and your F1 through F4 chooses your party member. Okay, we're looking for somebody in here. I think. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Who are you? Maybe this Can one? Protect us? Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Oh, there was a chest back here. I just remembered that. Mm -hmm. Bronze Sybil of Undress. We know who that goes to. Oh, bookshelf. Huh. Where is this? Let's look. J for journal. The blight. No. Okay. All of them are done. So what do we have left? Okay, we are done here, but let's go talk to the Reverend Munther. You dare to bring that canary here. Get him out. Out. I sense I am unwanted. I only wish to talk. This is intolerable. Leave at once. You dare to bring that canary here. Get him out. Out. I sense I am unwanted. What's the matter? This is intolerable. Leave at once. So... I can't change the party here. Let's see if I can go outside and change the party because it was going to let me earlier. Yeah, I can change it out here. Sorry, I got to take you out. Washington. We'll put her in. Oh, I should have put the puppy in. Oh, well. Now let's see if she'll talk to us. Did I not tell you to leave? Get out before I have the Templars remove you. All right. And may the Maker teach you the error of your ways. Well, I was hoping to get the key. Or who has the key to that? Maybe it's Sir Bryant? Hello again. What can I do for you? I was hoping you could help. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Logan declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. He claims we're responsible. And set a bounty on any who survive. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way... There it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Is there any help you can offer? 
I cannot openly help you, I fear, but here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Okay, that's all I needed. Oh, I got much in here, but it's still some stuff. Okay, time for us to oh to save before we try to leave. Just in case. So you can get off my back. Now it's time for us to head out of this place. We've done all the missions we had, quests we could do here, so let's just look at our journal. Yeah, those are done. Those are all ready to be done. And that one, I'm not sure about. I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic. All these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, I was going to go back and purchase the uh, war paint. Okay, I will. I'll pause the video while I run to back there and grab it, though. Okay, we made it back to here. Let's continue on our way. So, as you see, uh, our friends here are gone. Uh, just quick save before we do this. Oh, it saves it anyways. Yes. Oh boy, a flippin' dragon. dreams, huh? Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. It's just that you were shouting in your sleep, loud, and not in a good, this is private way either. <laughs> See, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the dark spawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. We feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. <laughs> the Archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not frightened. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. <laughs> not embarrassing at all. Anyhow... You're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Yeah, Alistair didn't like that one. I lost some points with him, but that's okay. So here's where you can give gifts. Oh, why you little Did you just 
jump it at the sight of your own shadow again. Oh, you're so funny. Such rapier wit. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. There's hardly any blood on still. No. Good boy. Teach that silly Alistair a lesson. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. <laughs> I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. I'd never feed you another human being. <laughs> it's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Okay. Let's see. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. Duncan never mentioned you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. How did you know... Duncan? It's a bit of a tale, that is. But I'm the one who brought the Grey Wardens back to Ferelden. Well, I was one of the ones. There were a lot of us. Make us breath, I'm a bit nervous. Honored to be here, really. Go ahead and tell your tale. After King Marit freed us from the Orlesians, the Grey Wardens begged the King's permission to come into Ferelden, some sort of internal business. Me and a mess of other Warden sympathizers spoke on behalf of your order. Tan Logain was very much against letting Orlesian Wardens in the kingdom, but Marik, Andraste, bless him, was a fair-minded monarch and he let them in. Go on, I'm listening. So that's why I was there when the Wardens and their leader, Genevieve, presented herself to the King. The first Wardens in Ferelden in over a century. Proudest day of my life, that was. Duncan was a bit of a scamp back then. We were of an age and struck up a friendship. The King himself went with the Wardens on their mysterious business. When he returned, he rescinded King Ardland's decree, and the Wardens came back to Ferelden for good. Merrick rescinded the decree just like that. Merrick was a bit of a visionary. A powerful mind, that one. In his travels with the Wardens, he must have seen how important their cause was and been moved by it. I doubt that's the full story. There was some talk at court that he did it to improve relations with Orzammar. That might have factored into it, but make no mistake. King Merrick was a giant among men. Uh, what promise did Duncan make to you? My family well passed a bit checkered, you see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. 
So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Okay. Just tell me what I need to know. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honour along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Why did Duncan help you? Why didn't Duncan help you? How are reclaiming the peak helped the wardens? Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Let's go to Soldier's Peak. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. So it's now uh, another thing to do. We gotta talk to them too. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. Now, before you say anything, I do recall that your business is private. But I saw your camp and couldn't help but stop. Is there anywhere safer to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. What we're looking for should be at the bottom of yes, that backpack. And that gives us another ten spots. We'll take the pigeon. Rotten onions are gifts. I don't know who would want those. Lump of coal. Those are all gifts. Chastity belt. Got an idea for that one. That one. Not sure about the scented soap. This one we know. That one. Okay. Gold rope necklace, not sure. Stick. That. Got an idea. Oh, yeah, we know who that goes to. Not sure on that. Or a pet rock. Got that one. I think I got that one. Protective cone. Ugly boots. Okay. So how do you give gifts? Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil <coughs> fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What intents does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. 
It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. <sighs> I'd like to see other uh, goods you have. Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. Let's see. I didn't even look at this stuff first. Oh. Um, uh, spell power of five. I lose the two damage, but I think this one would have definitely been worth it. Oh well, too late now. I spent that money. Wait, we can sell this ash longbow. Um, yeah, we can sell both of those. We can also sell some arrows. Sell those guys. Alistair. Okay, you got better and better. Okay. Um, who would want that? Do you have, you don't have a helmet, so we're going to keep that. But you do have no armor either. Damn, I didn't even realize that. Oh well. Ooh, what's this? Mental resistant? No. Don't do that. A lot of these are... Okay. One second. Okay. I'm back. I got some inventory. I had a crash, so I had to get back here. Uh, what we're looking for are our gifts. We're going to give this to... Okay, you target who you want to give stuff to in here. And then you select the gift. Did it work? I don't know. Well, I don't see it in here anymore. I thought I was giving him the Incrustable Pigeon, but... That's not who it's for. The stick. I gave the stick <laughs> some reason I don't know. Let's go see if maybe we can uh let's look. Cause we know that you would like to have this nice little doll I bought just for you, Alistair doll. I am grateful. It is. Th Oops. Morgan approval. I don't know if she would want this stick I'm going to give her. And see old cat lady stick. Nope. 
I can't give it to her. Is it because I already gave her a gift while we're camp? Maybe you can only give him one gift. Oh, wait. Let's see. And then, uh, Lily, Anna, let's give her the, um, this battlefield continues to see in the direct sunlight. Which is, I'm not sure who gets that or that. Symbol of Andraste. That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Wasn't the best item, was it? No. This is what I think she'll like better. I, that's a wonderful thought. I yeah. don't know what to say. What about not that? Huh. Okay. Stin, what would you like? I'm not sure what he would like. No. Alistair, this is something for Alistair. Great. Super, thanks. Oh, he did not like that. Well, I just lost the 50 points I gave him from the last... Or did I give him anything? No. The... this one. I could get used to this, you know. There we go. Just got the 50 back I lost. So, Alistair is going to stay neutral right where he was. He didn't gain any things because I was stupid and... Gave him something he didn't like. Majorly did not like. Anyways. You know what? It's 30 minutes. I think I'm done here for now. How much room do we have? Okay, we got room. So, we'll be heading off. Because I want to talk to these people before we leave, but... In the next episode, we'll finish talking to everyone, and then we'll head off to uh, Red Cliff. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by hitting that like button. If you did, you can also hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see more like this, thanks again. Have fun, stay safe out there, and be kind to others. Goodbye.